Chattahoochee River is one of the most well-known waterways in the state of Georgia. Stretching over 400 miles, the Chattahoochee is Georgia's longest river. The river starts at the top of the state near the Blue Ridge Mountains and trickles down, touching our neighbors Alabama and Florida, until it finally empties out into the Gulf of Mexico. Along the way, it flows through small towns like Helen, huge cities like Atlanta, and even parts of our very own Gwinnett County. The name Chattahoochee comes from the native language of the Muskegee people, meaning painted rock, referring to the many colorful granite rocks you can find along the riverbeds. Most of the Chattahoochee is clear, cool, and slow moving, making it perfect for fun activities for all to enjoy, like canoeing, tubing in the river, and strolling through the forest. The river can be a lot of fun for people to enjoy, but it also has an important job of providing food and homes to countless animals in Georgia, including mammals, reptiles, fish, amphibians, and birds, like the red-bellied woodpecker. Now these guys mostly eat bugs, but sometimes they eat fish or frogs, making the Chattahoochee a perfect place for them to catch a meal. The Sandhill Crane. These beauties may not live in Georgia year-round, but you'll definitely know when they're here. Their beautiful long wingspans and unmistakable bird calls are hard to miss during winter migration season. And we can't forget about the Cooper's Hawk. Cooper's Hawks are birds of prey, meaning they catch their food by hunting it down. Their eyesight is incredible, allowing them to wait for their prey from afar and then quickly swoop down with sharp wings and grasp their prey with strong talons. Squirrels, mice, and other small mammals are the most common food for these hunters. Speaking of mammals, let's meet some of the warm-blooded friends of the Chattahoochee. Say hello to the Virginia opossum. Now these guys might be a little misunderstood, but don't underestimate them. They can eat over 4,000 ticks in one year, keeping us safe from diseases like Lyme disease. The beaver. Now we know these giant rodents love to chew wood, but did you know they're actually strong swimmers too? They can hold their breath for up to 15 minutes underwater. Pretty cool. The white-tailed deer. White-tailed deer are common in Georgia, but they're crepuscular, meaning they only come out at dawn and dusk, so sometimes it might be hard to see them. They're also great gardeners. Okay, hear me out. Deer are herbivores, meaning they only eat plants, but oftentimes their body won't digest the seeds, which instead come out in their droppings. These seeds then grow into more plants, keeping our Chattahoochee forest alive and well. Now birds and mammals aren't the only animals that live near the Chattahoochee. There are dozens of reptiles that live there as well, and they have important roles to play. The Eastern Box Turtle. Like many turtles, the Eastern Box Turtle hibernates during the winter months, burrowing deep within the ground so you might only see them between the months of April and October. But unlike most turtles, box turtles can close their entire bodies, including hands and feet, into their shell, keeping them safe from predators. Yes, even you, Cooper's Hawk. The Corn Snake. Corn snakes get their name from distinctive patterns along their bellies, resembling maize or Native American corn. Now, corn snakes aren't venomous. Instead, they use their bodies to constrict around their prey, squeezing it before swallowing it whole. The black rat snake. Rat snakes are the largest snake found in Georgia, and despite looking like giant noodles, they're actually very good climbers. They love slithering into tall trees and finding hiding spots in the branches. Rat snakes are also extremely beneficial. True to their name, they eat large amounts of rats, mice, and other pest animals. Now, I would be absolutely crazy if I failed to mention the animals that actually live inside the Chattahoochee River. Let's give it up for our special guest, the fish. The Red Shiner. Well, my friends, I'm afraid we have an imposter. You see, Red Shiners aren't native to Georgia. They were introduced as fish bait, and one day they got loose, and you know the story. Now they call the Chattahoochee home, but they're also excellent food for some of the native fish population. Catfish. These fish are negatively buoyant, which is just a fancy way of saying they sink instead of float. 
Because of this, they're able to find food at the bottom of the river. And those cat whiskers? Well, they're actually called barbells, and they help the fish feel for their food. Now that we've met a few Chattahoochee animals, it's time to talk about what we can do to keep them safe and keep the river a healthy habitat for ourselves and the animals around us. Even the smallest bit of help goes a long way, and everyone can make a difference. First, if you see an animal in its natural habitat, try your best not to approach it. Sometimes, admiring an animal from afar is the safest way for you and the animals to enjoy nature. Approaching the animal can scare it, causing it to either run away or attack. Second, try your best to recycle when you can, especially plastic. Using less plastic means we can make less plastic, which is great for the environment. And last, conserve water when you can. The Chattahoochee River provides drinking water to over 5 million people in Georgia, so we have to make sure it stays flowing. Making a schedule for things like watering your plants, washing the car, and even doing laundry can help conserve lots of water, especially during a drought season. Thanks for coming with me on this journey as we learned about some of the Chattahoochee's most important and lovable residents. Take care, and I'll see you soon.